So I'm talking a little bit about my philosophy, right? What makes me different than somebody else? As everyone knows, you are the kind of product of all of your life experiences and everything that's come before today. So I thought I'd just give you a little background about myself first. I was born in Zurich, Switzerland, so I had European parents, and I grew up with a big exposure to Europe, traveling there, kind of old world culture, old world art, and uh, old world architecture. I think that's really formed a lot of my kind of ideals of what the ideal beauty and the ideal uh, proportions are. And it's definitely a very classical beauty and a, a classical uh, proportions. And so we're not into overdone things. We're not into crazy things. We're into very, very classical, beauty and a classical aesthetic. I went to college and I studied a very liberal arts education. So again, that gave me a broad exposure to many, many things in life. It's not an engineering type degree. It's not a computer science degree. It's just a broad exposure to art, a science and culture. And that, and that forms a big part of who I am. I actually worked on Wall Street before I went to medical school and Wall Street taught me a work ethic and it taught me an efficiency. You have to get so much done in such a short period of time, it has to be perfect. And so you really, really learn uh, the importance of efficiency in life when you have a kind of Wall Street background like that. You know, then I went to medical school and I was kind of inspired to go into plastic surgery because it's, it's really the only field field in medicine where there, there's a creativity to it. It's not just a by the book uh, type of thing. It's not here's a gallbladder, go take it out, or here's somebody with high blood pressure, put them on high blood pressure medicine. There's, there's definitely an artistry to it, and there's definitely a creativity to it, and there's definitely a problem solving element to it that isn't there really in a lot of medicine or in a lot of other pursuits. I think a lot of people that end up in plastic surgery are, are drawn to it because of the, the artistry and the, the creativity side of it. Those types of people and people like me, they they have an artsy side to them besides the surgery. They have a hobby. They have something that interests them uh, besides medicine. For me, it's cooking, it's doing puzzles, it's problem solving. Uh, cooking for me is, is a lot like surgery. There's definitely to be a really, really good cook, you have to plan what you're doing. You have to do your, your mise en place, as the French say. And surgery is the same thing. Surgery is not walking into the operating room and kind of winging it or figuring out what you're going to do when you're there. You really need to be able to visualize that surgery and you need to have executed it in your mind before you set foot in the operating room or you're not going to do a perfect surgery. All of these things kind of come together and make me who I am. And you know, many people think, oh, your plastic surgeon just needs to be an artist, but there is a technical aspect to it too. And the technical aspect I think is as important as the artistry aspect. So, you know, I talked about the, the architecture and art and the classical beauty ideas, but then you need to be able to execute what you're doing in the operating room. And you need to have that kind of scientist in there. You need to be someone who measures and who plans and who sticks to his plan and executes the plan that you've come up with before you've walked into the operating room. So all of these things kind of go together and, and they make me who I am.